New this morning, a big win for parents fighting against New Pasco County school boundary changes. And we're getting our first look now at the latest changes that would allow some kids to stay in the school they're currently in. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella live for us to explain how these changes affect hundreds of families. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, James and Diaz. So a lot of the students here at Mitchell High School were supposed to be rezoned to Ancloat High, and that's something that a lot of kids and parents were very much against. And I want you guys to take a look, a first look at some of these new changes from the district. So some notable changes include keeping several subdivisions in the zone they're currently in. The new plan also reverts, allowing students on school choice to remain at the schools they're at if they want to. All of this after dozens of parents submitted comments to the district online. Now, if you still have questions about these changes, there is going to be a public hearing on April 10th at the school board building in Lando Lakes. I'm back out here live. This all comes after all of the latest proposed boundary changes after a ton of controversy were thrown out in court after sunshine violation laws by the district. Now, if you'd like to take another closer look at that map, we've all got it posted on our website. It's abcactionnews.com. Just click on this story in our local news section. Reporting live in Pasco County this morning, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.